Hello there, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a card for you for the Bruce Monroe Inspiration Team blog hop and our focus was Halloween and surface sprays. So I've got some really great sets that we're going to use and we're going to start off going slow-mo, well not slow-mo, but normal. So it's going to seem real slow-mo for my normal videos. And I'm going to show you these surface sprays. So the color I'm going to use today is called Cabbage and I just have a piece of lunch bag cardstock cut down to four inches by five and a quarter. And if you look, your surface spray, when you get it, it's going to look like it has this film kind of at the bottom. You are going to want to shake that up really, really well. There are are some little metal balls in there that'll help you shake that up and so you're just going to want to shake 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 until you don't have that little film at the bottom and you're ready to start spraying so i'm going to spray and then i'm actually just going to push the cat or the the tip down just barely so that i get some of those big chunky sprays and then when you're done with your spray you're going to want to make sure that you clean it off just like any sprays that you might use clean it off because that's how our sprays get clogged kids so clean it off and you'll be good all right, I'm going to set that off to the side to dry. It doesn't look like much right now, but it's going to look like something later. I've got a scrap of some Expressa cardstock that I've put into my Mini Misty, and I'm grabbing the Pumpkin Faces stamp set. I love this stamp set. It doesn't have any sentiments in it, but there's so many pumpkins and so many faces that you just can't help but fall in love with it. So I'm going to ink it up with some Raven Detail ink, and I, as you can tell, because this stamp has a big surface in the center. I am inking this up, but when I push down, I am only pushing around my pumpkin because sometimes that center can pick up some of the ink and you don't want to stamp that down. I've grabbed one of the little faces and I'm going to stamp that now. So just inking that up once again with my detail ink. And it's a little sad face, but it's so cute. There's so many cute faces in this set. I could just probably stamp with this all day. And I love coloring pumpkins because we can put some really cool detail in them. I'm going to start off with some Y35. Just putting down a base. And yes, obviously that's a yellow. I think I've used this color combination before, but I'm not sure. But if you see where your pumpkin, in this case, has those lines where, you know, pumpkins have a lot of texture on the outside of them. And so we're going to try and emulate that just a little bit here. I'm following those lines that are already on the top and bottom of the pumpkin to try to give as a good guide for where my curves might be on my pumpkin. So I've come in with my YR16 and now I'm going to come in with my darkest shade which is YR18 and I'm just putting down a little bit of that and it doesn't look great right now but then I'm going to come back in with my YR16 blend out that YR18 just a little bit more but I do like how the YR18 adds some drama and then I'm going to come back in with my Y35 and blend all of that out. So it will be some good contrast, but it's going to make this little pumpkin have quite a bit of personality. And so then we will come in and we'll color the insides of his little eyes. I went ahead and decided to do the darker color, so that's the YR18. For his stem, we are starting off with E99, and then we're going to come in with that E37 as my darker shade. And then I'm not going to blend that out. I'm going to fussy cut this using my Brutus Monroe fussy cutting scissors, just keeping my scissors where they are and moving my pumpkin around, and then he'll be ready to go. As you can see, that surface spray is starting to dry and it's deepening up, and I love it because it actually has a little bit of texture to it too. Not a lot, but it definitely has some texture to it. And so I'm drying this some more with my heat tool, and you can speed up the drying process this way and you'll, you'll be able to tell that it's dry as you hold it up in the light. It'll sort of change color, get a little bit deeper, which is nice. And I love the contrast on that lunch bag cardstock. This stuff is so pretty and with all the different sprays that are out there, this is definitely a winner. And now that those are dry, or the surface spray is dry, I'm going to put that right back into my Mini Misty and I'm grabbing a sentiment from the Super Sentimental stamp set. This one says, Miss Your Face. I thought that was perfect for the pumpkin. And I know this isn't really Halloween, but since it is a jack-o'-lantern and my son, if you've ever watched my channel, you know that he is, you know, he's off doing army stuff. So I send him cards from time to time and I thought this would be a perfect one for him. And so there we have Miss Your Face stamped right on that panel. And for my card base, I'm grabbing more of that lunch bag cardstock that I cut down to four and a quarter by 11 and a half and scored it five and a half inches. So I do have a little bit of border around my, my panel. So I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and put some of the Brutus Monroe foam tape on the back. And people have said that they have a little bit of a hard time with this. It sticks to things, but I haven't had any issue with my Tim Holtz scissors. And I've heard that the 
um, Brutus Monroe fussy cutting scissors work really well too. I use a paper piercer to peel off all the release paper and I don't have any problem there. So I've stuck that down and now I'm going to peel off the release paper on my little pumpkin and then he'll be ready to go. So this is obviously a very simple card but to finalize it I used some Autumn Red Nouveau drops just in the heart on that Miss Your Face. I thought that would be a nice little added bit. And then once we're done with that, that's going to finish off this card. So as I said, this is a part of a blog hop, so I will have my link to my blog down below so you can head over there and check out what the rest of the Inspiration team has been up to. So if you liked this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by.